Hey guys, and welcome to Day Glue today. And today I got a little tidbit from Jay Z's, and he wanted to get this out before the actual patch came out for patch nine, especially for this content drop. So, what he's been doing, and for everything that has been happening, is that one, he's been farming one star legendaries and then turning them into three star legendaries. It's pretty much extremely simple but at the same time many people don't think about it because you don't really die when you're farming legendaries and you don't really recall the fact that you would be dying from these said legendaries especially if you damage them or not so the whole point of this is pretty rudimentary one you kill all the other enemies that are not the legendary mobs that are inside and this is very specific because um, there's a difference of instance based inside a building versus outside a building. So once you are able to get everything done and you're inside the building and you are farming whatever legendary that's inside, let's say Watoga, West Tech, or Robco, and then you kill everything else and then you are left with the legendary. Let's say that it's a one star legendary. The probability of turning that legendary 1 star into a 2 star to 3 star is around a 50% chance. And what you need to do is that you need to die from that one thing inside that instance. And then load somewhere up and then fast travel away and then fast travel back. It's very simple that you can pretty much do this constantly as long as you are on the same server and you make sure that this is done in accordance. By the time you come back, the probability, again 50%, should be able so that when you get there, you will then see that mob either be a 2, a 3 star, there's, there's no 4 stars. So. But honestly, that's the easiest method in order for you to transfer something from being a 1 star legendary to a 3 star legendary. Turning almost every location that's inside a building to a three-star legendary farm. Now, I don't know if there's other tangible, reputable things, like, let's say, for example, you have two people inside the same instance. Now, if you have two people inside the same instance, of course, it's not going to change characters. So, again, you're going to need to be by yourself doing this method and identifying what is a three star legendary what you want to save as long as they have one star make sure you die by them okay take off all your armor wait until they actually kill you and then come back into that server instance at that spot after you fast travel the way and then fast travel back they should be a two to three star at that point with a probability of 50 percent okay it's very simple again very straightforward and it is very repeatable no matter what. Now, of course, if the server crashes, the server crashes. You're not going to really have that kind of thing happen for you when you're farming. Now, this is also in tandem to what I've been having. Now, you are also having the ability to turn two stars to three star legendaries. Now, what's the point of having a two to three star legendary? Well, once it comes to legendary mods and everything else like that, it becomes a higher probability to this type of category. So, then you'll have more legendary mods in the weapon, then you'll be able to trade this weapon to be better. Now, if there's the legendary vendor, we don't know on how the data tables are when it comes to a 1, a 2, a 3 star legendary, and how it would be affected in that type of category as well. So, in the mixture of all of that kind of what-if questions, you also have the idea that you can just trade it up to have a better weapon on site, let's say Market 76 or something like that. And instead of just having a crappy 1-star, 2-star legendary, now you can actually have a 3-star legendary. And it it's pretty reputable to have a 3-star legendary compared to a 1-star legendary because, again, you have better gear for better results. Why waste your time when you know that this is the optimal farming method inside Fallout 76. It's actually dying. So if you're going to be doing this in survival mode, make sure you do not have that much aid material on your person because you got to remember that once you die, whether it's from another person 
or let's say from a one two three star legendary you still drop your aid as well as your junk okay that's very important especially for this but if you're doing an adventure mode you're just dropping your junk but I don't know the probability chances between adventure mode and survival mode with this actual technique. Both in survival and adventure mode work in this. But again, because the XP is a little bit different, and I don't know if the value would be changed in that type of category from moving it from a 1 star to a 3 star in this kind of fashion in survival mode with a higher probability chance. So again, you can take that at your own risk if you're going to be doing this in survival, but I am going to be doing this from now on. Again, thank you, Jay-Z's. Um, the link will be in the description of his Twitch. Uh, I don't know if he really has a YouTube that he really does, but he just wanted me the link to his Twitch. And if you really like his stuff, I mean, go for it. But again, as part of the community, there's one big thing that I always say. If you have some type of thing that you know about, talk about it in my Discord. I've had discussions about many other things, seated loot, unseated, di different data tables for the servers that you are on, and just a few other things. And if you really like my stuff, I have shirt and a blanket on Teespring as well as some phone cases. If you really want to support the channel, buy some stuff because, I mean, that's going to be really helping me in the long run. And again, if you guys like this, no matter what, have a good one.